kidding. kidding. We have power here. Good morning, West Lydon, and welcome back to this week's edition of WLTV for November 15th. This week, we're bringing you segments for French Honor Society's dinner, a recap on the civic simulation, the freshman tutoring program, and a profile on Ronnie Massari's wrestling career. Kimmy, did you happen to get a taste of that delectable French quiche yesterday? No, Nancy, but luckily, Caro and Sofia were there to eat le plaisir de manger. What's up, West Leiden? I'm Caro. And I'm Sofia, and we're here to tell you guys about a special event hosted by our French Honor Society. Let's check it out. The dinner is just to celebrate French week um, that is in November and we're going to be serving French foods. This is FHS, uh, French Honor Society, that plans this and what we do is we meet with the group, kind of talk about what we want to serve that night and then the big part is meeting with the catering um, teacher and the, you know, their classes because that's who is going to make the food. So most of the work is made by the catering classes. The dinner was a success showing a great turnout, leaving many guests impressed with the cuisine options and performance of the catering students. The menu featured home recipes and gave everyone a chance to taste some flavors from abroad. If you missed this year's dinner, stay tuned for what FHS has in store next. This has been Sofia and Carol. Back to the studio. Mmm, sounds, sounds really, really delicious. delicious. These past couple of weeks, the civics and AP Gov classes had their annual simulation. The simulation was first introduced three years ago. Roy went to get a little more information on this event. I think doing the civic simulation gave them a really nice idea of how you take a proposed bill and turn it into a law. I think it gave them an idea of all of the time and effort that goes into it. They got to see it's not just a simple, quick process, but it's a lot of people involved. It's more of an arduous process. There's a lot of voting, committees, and everything, and I think in understanding that, they'll be able to better understand kind of what happens. They need to see a little bit of what actually happens here in the U.S. They got to, they got to see what members of the legislature actually, oh my goodness, participate in, in order to start with a proposed bill and create it into, hopefully, if they're able to, a law. Go through this. Um, I really enjoyed the full house at the end where everyone in civics came together, they presented their bills, and they actually debated on them. And there were actually a couple of really good debates. People got pretty into it, even though they said they were a little bit nervous. But they, I was able to see their different viewpoints and see where they were coming from and their different reasons behind things, which was really cool. I hope they take an understanding of what is involved in the process. I really hope they were able to see what's involved. They'll be able, when they you know get older and if they go out and vote, or even if they're listening to the news and is talking about it, they'll be able to have a deeper understanding of what's involved in the process. Many athletes put in extra time and work during their off season. Alondra and Haley dug a little deeper on one of Lydon's athletes and see how he is preparing for this season. Ronnie has been wrestling since he was nine years old, both in school and out. He has dedicated his time throughout the years to improve on every aspect of his wrestling career, which he hopes to continue after Lydon. The best way to describe Ronnie would be his tenacious work ethic. Uh, no matter no matter what he's doing or, or when he's doing it, he's he's doing everything he can to be the best. Uh, he puts in the extra time, he puts in the extra effort, and I think his work ethic shows in whatever. When it comes to wrestling, for me at least, is keeping my weight on check. Like you have to keep a healthy diet and make sure each week when you go to weigh in, you're not above weight. So make sure you keep competing at your right right weight class. Ronnie continues his passion for wrestling during the off-season over summer with a club where they practice and do tournaments. What I like most about wrestling is that it's an individual sport. Like, just for example, like basketball teams, football teams, any other sport, like, you win with the team and you lose with the team. Like, you can't blame anybody else when you lose in wrestling. When you win, you get all the glory to yourself because it shows, like, the work that you put in individually. I'm most excited for the season is finishing out my high school career with some of my best friends that I've had over the past couple of years. The bond we built is pretty strong. So. Hey freshmen, have you guys ever needed a little extra academic help? Well, Leiden has freshman tutoring just for you. Here's your Red Sat telling us more about how that works. Freshman tutoring is a program that we started about 10 years ago. Basically, we had a bunch of failing freshmen and we were trying to figure out what to do. And so our old principal, Mr. Wagner, instituted a 
a group of students, or a program with a group of students who came to help tutor these failing freshmen. The upperclassmen tutor the freshmen from 3 to 335. In a short amount of time, changes in the students' grades are seen. And what happened was a major change. Our Fs went way down. Students started doing much better. The way that you become a tutor is you find me and ask me, can you tutor? This program doesn't only benefit freshmen. Many students do it because you get to make new friends and experience something you've never had before. I've been tutoring for two years and that's with the service club. My favorite thing is them like leaving and knowing that they got help that will raise their grade. Nancy, what time is it? It's time to, to get, get in the, the game. game. Uh, well, I'm really excited for this year. We have a lot of newcomers and a lot of young kids who didn't play on varsity last year, but they have a lot of potential and they have a lot of talent, so I think if we're able to uh, figure out that chemistry and how they play together, then I think we can have a really successful season. Um, I think we're pretty stacked. Like, everyone has like their strong position. Um, so I think a lot of people are gonna get playing time this season. Everyone's really good, like shooting, dribbling, all around pretty much. One through five. <laughs> yeah, I agree with her. And I think like if we really put in the work and like we're actually going hard, like this year, like we have a really good like we're in a really good spot to like be top of conference, not I don't know, like top three maybe. Hi, my name's Alexia and we're playing What's in the Box and in the box there is slime. Is this slime? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's one of those massage thingies for like your back. Slime, right? Congratulations to all the Eagles competing in the 2019-2020 winter season. And don't forget, Go Eagles!